Good morning. God bless everybody in Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that everybody here is being bold and <coughs> strong, not fearful, okay? Because uh, we knew these things were coming. That's what we discussed and we talked about this for quite some time. <coughs> um, <coughs> anyhow, for me, you guys, it's like a breath of fresh air, you know? I've been, I've told people in the beginning when I first had my eyes open, man, I've seen these things coming. I've seen them being cast into people. I've seen them. I knew they were here. I knew they were coming down here steadily. Our time and God's time is not the same. And uh, what I thought was happening over the last, say, five years, um, it's just moments to them, moments. They were being cast down here. To me, it's, you know, five years, and I, that's what I, my message has always been. They're here, and they're in our government. They're in their military. They're everywhere. They're in all the high places. <coughs> um, the entertainment, all of them, you know. A lot of them made deals with the devils or whatever, but they, um, they literally had their vessels taken over, and... Uh, they're like being held captive in their bodies, but either way, it doesn't matter. They're here, and uh, they're going to start. I got a video I'm going to put in the description box, and you can check it out where you'll hear one of them even saying um, that they're wanting to go from house to house now, testing people um, to uh, using this COVID-19 as their excuse for what they're doing. But what they're really doing is they're looking for those who are of Christ. That's what they're looking for. This is a spiritual battle, you guys. Um, don't have a spirit of fear about this either. Okay? There's nothing to be afraid of, you guys. This was all meant to be. <laughs> this is all just coming to the end. We're blessed to even see it and know it. You know, can you imagine those that are afraid of death that don't even know... Um, this life isn't who we are, man. It's not who we are. Matthews ten nineteen. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak. For it shall be given you at that same hour what you shall speak. I've had that happen to me too. I told you guys when I was at that baseball game, when I said the games were over, it just came out of me. I was offered a job by my football coach I hadn't seen in 40 years. And it just came out of me, man. I looked at him and I said, the games are over. And the voice that came out of him was frightened. And he went, no. Well, anyhow, they're here, you know. I've said it for quite some time. And now you got, those of you who have been on this channel for a while, you know I did. And, uh. Now, all you have to do is watch and you'll see everything that's happening. Not have a spirit of fear about it, you know. Just thank the Lord. Praise God that we see it, you know. If they come after us, don't worry about it. I've always said in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 17, where it says, in those, it says, the dead in Christ will rise first. And then those who are alive and remain will be caught up to meet them in the air. In other words, listen to it. Those who are alive and remain. And what do we see them now? They're, they're, they're going to try to hunt some of us down. I know people like me, they know who we are. They've seen our face. They've known me since I told them the games were over. You know, They've known me since I was a child. You know, I've had them coming against me when I was younger. They've always known some of us. The others, they're going to be looking for, you know. So some of us that are kind of quite popular with them, we might might find ourselves in their hands. Who knows? Who cares? You know, I'll be glad just to get this over with, man. Their time's going to be short, and when it's over, huh, it's going to be far worse for them. Revelations 12, 7 through 12. Remember, Satan's making war with those who keep the commandments of God, not those who say faith and grace and nothing else. 
War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought, but they did not prevail. Nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. They were being cast down here all this time, you guys. All this time they were being cast out here. That, that great dragon was cast out. That serpent of old called the devil and Satan who deceived the whole world. He was cast down to the earth and these angels were cast out with them. You know what was mind blowing for me guys? When I was seeing it. I was seeing it man. When they got in people's bodies they were looking at, at things like they were surprised to see it. See the things. Because you guys the things we make things here to have them in the kingdom of heaven just a thought and you got them there's we in heaven you're not going to see junk stuff all these things like we hang photos and uh we got our salt and pepper shakers we got our frying pans we got all this stuff it's all in the way we've got dressers filled with clothing women you got hundreds of shoes okay when we're in the spirit we're going to be able to just imagine and you're going to be able to change. You'll be able to have something different on all the time. You know, it'll, you won't need a dresser or a place to put it. That's why when I seen them here, how they were looking at things, like they were just surprised to see things just all over the place. You know, like, because they're not used to that. I was noticing it right away. When I seen these things. And I knew what they were doing and why. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven saying. Saying in heaven. Now salvation and strength has come into our kingdom of God. And the power of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren. Who accuse them before God day and night. Has been cast down. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. And by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to the death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, <coughs> you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of, of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. That's why, you guys, you're going to see them where they're going to be starting to do what they're doing, trying to round people up. This world virus thing. You notice how it's all over the world. He deceiveth the whole world. They're going to be looking for those uh, of us that are all over the world. They're going to be looking for us where the light shines. They're not going to be looking for the ones that are of the world. You know, they're not among us. It, it's certain groups that they're looking for only. There's going to be a revival too. There will be a revival. Revelation 12, 17, that dragon was wroth with the woman, and he went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So you guys, when you hear these people saying, faith and grace and nothing else, only the devil would say stuff like that. He's got enemies here among us right now, man. Don't kid yourself. John fourteen twenty three. Jesus answered and said unto him, if a man will love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will, will love him, and we will come in unto him and make our abode with him. John fifteen eighteen. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me first. If you were of the world, the world would love his own, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they persecuted me, they're going to persecute you too. And if they kept my saying, they'll keep yours. So, all these things I say unto you, all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. Because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned. But now they have no cloak for their sin. So you see, you guys, when you're hearing these people going, we're sinning every day, all the time. That's because they're still of the world. 
we had our eyes opened. The, the scales lifted off our eyes to see and know the truth. And when you die to this world, what are you going to be sinning in? What? You don't love anything here. You shouldn't. If you still do, then you're still holding on. You know? But if you truly died to this world, you ain't holding on to nothing here. What what are your what are you lusting after here, you know? Me, I like to get my cup of coffee in the morning, you know. I have that maybe once a morning. Now I don't even have it every morning, but sometimes I do, you know. A cup of coffee. I don't go into two and three cups. If I had not done among them the works which no other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. Okay. Ephesians chapter 1, 4 through 6. According as he has chosen us uh, before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy without blame before him having predestined us to the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to his good pleasure of, of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he has made us acceptable in the beloved. 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. If they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Here's 1 John chapter 2. My little children, these things I write unto you that you sin not. See, the OSAS, they got it. They came in and they perverted the grace of God. That's who they are. Those are the ones exactly who Paul was warning about. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. You, now, you know how it says, if any man sins. It doesn't say when you sin, if, you know. And when you die to this world, you're not going to be in it like that. You're not going to be in it. But that's why we also say our daily prayer. Our daily prayer saying, give us our daily bread, which is the word of God. And then we ask for forgiveness, you know. There's a sin that's not a sin in the death, then there's a sin that is, where there remains no more sacrifice for it. And uh, and then where he says, if, you, if you're taking pleasure in it, he knows your hearts and your minds. So if you're taking pleasure in some sort of a sin, then he knows you're of the world. And that's why it says, I will send you strong delusions to believe the lies. Hereby we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Won't hear that on OSAS. He that says I know him and keeps not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby we know that we are in him. And he say he abideth in him ought also walk, even as he walked. So this is, this is what we're saying, you guys. The time that we're in right now, what we're seeing, don't have a spirit of fear about it. Jesus, he went. He even told his disciples, he goes, man, you guys, when I get over here, they're going to mock me, scoff me, they're going to spit on me, they're going to crucify me. Okay? So don't have a spirit of fear. Jesus wasn't full of fear. He told before he got there, now you tell me you don't know. We do know. We know. We see it. He made us fully aware. We're on our way, aren't we? Woohoo! What a thing, huh? What an amazing thing, huh? That we see and know all this stuff right now. My little children, it is the last time, and as you have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now there are many, whereby we know it's the last time. 
You guys, this is where I told you you're going to start seeing them where they hate us. Really hating us. People that didn't even really care one way or the other, they're going to be hating us now. That's why it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. It also says, you're the enemy of God. You are the enemy of God. Amazing times, ain't it? Furthermore, then, we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk and to please God, so ye would abound more and more. For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not God. That no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have forewarned you and testified. For God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but God, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. And indeed, ye do it toward all the brethren which are in all Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more, and that ye study to be quiet, and to do your own business, and to work with your own hands as we commanded you, that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without, and that ye may have lack of nothing. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. You see there, you guys? This is what's going on. They're here, they're here, they're making war with the remnant, those that keep God's commandments. You know? That's why a lot of us have been having attacks for a long time. See, for me, I told you guys, I'm glad to see this over, because every night, every night for years, it was constantly a battle. Yeah, you know, so for me, I can say, you know, I'm glad to see it's over. Warn people every day, every day, everywhere. And most people don't want to hear it. You know, churches. Well, they're going to see it now, aren't they? So you see, this is why I say for me, it's like a breath of fresh air tired of telling it over and over and over and over and over and they just don't believe it you know even now with the things that we're seeing <laughs> guys don't be surprised if they still don't see it many of them don't and it's because of what it says the parable of seed it's the cares and the love of this life that blinds them that where they can't see it anyhow god bless everybody i hope and pray that you receive a message out of this and please check the description box and you're going to be seeing how they're coming after everybody. Every day you're going to be hearing and seeing something new where they're constantly coming, okay? God bless you guys. Don't have a spirit of fear about this either. We didn't have our eyes open to be fearful, you know, and Jesus said it. If they did it to me, they'll do it to you, okay? But we don't have that spirit of fear, okay? Remember, it's all about having your faith and trusting in the Lord in these times right now too, okay? God bless you. And when Jesus were covered by the blood of Christ, 
So don't worry, okay? God bless you. In Jesus' name.